Yeah, right here, the Navajo on the radio, U92, and in the building right now, I got one of the homies from a long time, for a long time, my man Joe Baca. What's up, my man? Way back, way back. What's up, Poe? Way back, man. Let's go ahead and talk about the new line you got coming out. I mean, a lot of people here in Utah, they they, they talk about trying to get their uh, this clothing line that they always want to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of them get it going, but then they go for so long. Mm-hmm. Man, so far... You got some ill designs, and this has been in your head. And, uh, like, it's, it, it, tell me about it, man. Let's just tell everyone about sure, it. Sure, yeah. Nah, I, I appreciate the love, man, first of all. Yeah, I think a lot of people do do things, and it's, you just got to try to do it right at the end of the day. Uh, if it wasn't for Mike's skills, I wouldn't even have a cool name to be able to springboard off of, you know. So I got to give it up to Mike. Uh, Mike coined it. We made it popular as a group. And, uh, you know, before I looked up, I saw there was ADA's Customs, ADA's Graphic Designs, ADA's Photography. And uh, so, you know, I told Mike, I said, well, you know, what are you going to do with this? He said, oh, you know, do what you want. So I took it, you know, and uh, and, and started and banging out these designs. And so the designs, with, with this sense, I'm not really doing music anymore. Uh, you know, I did, a, I did a couple tracks with Chino over there with Briss. We shot a video recently. But since I'm not really doing music anymore, this is really filling that creative void that I had going on, man. I was in corporate America for five years, got a chance to really learn the ins and outs of uh, how business works. Yeah. And so uh, past that, you know, I, I uh, said it's time to do this. So I got with a graphic designer and uh, just push. What I do is I just push my vision through his head and, and he clicks all the buttons since I don't really know how to run uh, Illustrator. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing that a lot of people, you know, let's go ahead and break it down. ADAs. Is the clothing line. Eighty Ace. That's right. Eighty Ace. Eighty Ace. Eight oh one for everybody that doesn't know. You know, a lot of times it, it, people say you need an identity and you do, absolutely. It doesn't matter if you're doing music. Whatever you're doing, the successful people always have an identity. And and you've always had eight oh one, but mm-hmm. now you have eighty ace. And so you've always had like Utah how it was, but now you have Utah as it is. It's growing, man. I mean Kanye's up there snowboarding. My you know, there's a lot of famous people in Park City. They come down here. The vibe down here in Salt Lake City just down I mean you're down here every day, yeah. right? Like the vibe down here is incredible. U ninety two has had a big part in that. And so for me at the end of the day I thought eighty ace really embodies and encompasses this new Salt Lake and this new Salt Lake Valley, you know, Murray, Magna, Westville, all that stuff. It's all it's all encompassing and, and we're growing. We're evolving. This is uh, this is becoming a real metropolis It's becoming a real a real cool place to be at. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot more open, a lot more accepting. And uh, for me, 88 is a celebration of that. So, you know, for me, I always like to be able to say you can represent and be stylistically sound. And uh, big up to my guy, B-Side, Green Light. Um, and, and what I'm running with now, man, is Rep It Right. Yes. Yeah. This, this is this is going to let everybody really rep it right. Yeah. Yes. Now, let's go ahead and talk about it. Like, right now, I am wearing the Bumpy Knuckles joint. You know what I'm saying? This is, Bumpy. Oh, my God. Just... <laughs> It's so dope, and then the back, of course. You know what I mean? like, Hands dirty, cuticles clean. That's that's from way back. That's from lump sum. That's days. the lump sum. And a lot of people, <laughs> I want to let them know is that you know, they, uh, Joe, Mike, Skills, they were part of a, a, a group called Lump Sum, killed it, and uh, and then I became you know uh, the DJ for the crew. Best and, you know move I mean? we ever did. That's how that, that that's that's how we go back. You know yeah, what I, mean? and I, way I know back. your vision and stuff. But yeah. as far as people that want to start their clothing line, they have that uh you know that drive to maybe try uh, how hard was it for you to, to uh, you know to get into the business, man? This is difficult it's, it's, it remains difficult. It's it's every day is a challenge. It's it's a beautiful struggle though like Talib Kweli says, you know, like um when you're doing what you want to do, I, I think that, that that gives you the motivation to really continue doing it. It's a struggle though, man. Um somebody like my Myself, man, I, I didn't have two pennies to rub together when uh-huh. I started this off, right? So, uh, funding is always an issue, um, yeah, and, and always making the right moves. I think where a lot of people make a mistake, Poe, is that they get this hustle bone in them, and it's that's awesome. You got to have that. You got to have that right? first off, yeah, for sure. But some people make moves prematurely, and 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 sometimes that spells the end of whatever movement they were creating. Mm-hmm. So for me. Um, it's like, remember the movie Colors? How they're talking about the two, the the two buffalo up there with all the cows and yeah, with all the cows. You, yeah, you, you gotta, know. you gotta, you gotta, you gotta ease your way into it, and you know, fools rush in, right? And yeah. so for me, I got plenty of grind. Um, that's all I've been doing for the last week since I got my all my new designs. Um, morning till night, that's it, you know. And uh, but I, I try to, I try to move forward thoughtfully 
as uh, life is a, is a it's a chess it's a chess game. It's not a game of checkers, right? So, um, just I just try to. It, it is difficult. It remains difficult, but it's very rewarding. It's for me. What's satisfying, man, was like to see your face when you saw the bumpy right there, yeah. and, and, and and you pulled it out, and you mentioned like the the turquoise on there, and 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 how it had a a, a special meaning for you. That's the kind of stuff that really just keeps me going, and and it's a beautiful thing. It's it's, it's almost the same as when I come out with a new song. Somebody, hey, you know, I was I was bumping that, and you know, you you feel that you get the, those goosebumps because you know that something that you created really directly impacted somebody in a beautiful way, right? Yeah. And so that's that's there's nothing nothing bigger than that for me. You know, that's paycheck. dope, man. Let's yeah. talk about some of these, man. So I'm wearing the bumpy knuckles right now. Right. Uh, this right here, check out this one. This is the 801. It's the beast mode right man, there. Man, he's got the print, the elephant print. Yeah. Print. And uh, one of my personal favorites right here. The Trapper's Joint, man. Yeah. For those of you that don't know, man, you know, when, when you're from back in the day, before there was the bees, you know what I mean? There was the Trappers. I even, you know, man, go back. Man. Way the Stingers. Back. The, there was always the Trappers. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that, that's like, uh, we were just talking about this, like, going back in elementary school, man. I remember you, you know, wanted to go to Trappers games. and Dirksville. You know, remember and that? You, yeah, Dirksville. <laughs> and, you, and you brought back that design, man. This is this is way dope. Um and then the one that caught my eye when I went on Facebook, man, and seen some of your line right here was the going back in the day, man. You had the yeah. turquoise, but like it's the, it's the old school flyer, you know, they used to do back in like New York, the Bronx. You know, when they exactly had their right. uh, their park shows and everything. You know, what that's I mean? exactly right. That's actually that's um, I, I went and researched it and I pulled a gang of flyers from 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 back in then in that day. If you look hard enough, you'll be able to find that online. And what we did is we took that. And we recreated it from the ground up. It, the The quality, the the pixel quality, wasn't good enough for it to be able to transfer over. Obviously, so what I had to have my graphics guy do is he literally recreated the entire flyer. And so um, I was I was uh, I was excited about that. And honestly, man, like I had I, I had a really soft spot for that in my heart, and I, I I thought it would do good. I thought people would like it. I didn't have any idea it'd be received like it has. It's been received really really well so i'm 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 very happy about yeah, this man. Well, thanks. right now thanks yeah. so much he's rocking it of course man any shout outs you want to do man yeah shout out to mike skills uh chino for real my guy sick burner i know he's getting ready to drop some new stuff um uh briscoe you know everybody just for me it's uh my shout outs just go to everybody in the whole in the whole ADAs. yeah uh, you know get behind this I, you know i love you guys I, I put on for you guys all the time anybody that knows me knows that i was representing salt lake all over the west man from phoenix to southern cali in the long beach bellflower area all the way up the coast to portland seattle i mean i've been everywhere putting it on for for right here repping rose park yeah man. hey man i can't it's, it's stuck on me right so it's not <laughs> it's not going anywhere but um I want everybody to keep a lookout for my guy, Lane Cobain. He's uh, a, a guy that's been living in, in Utah for a little while. He's not from here. He's from the East Coast, and uh, he's nice. Dope. He's nice. Yeah, I kind of I'm, I'm, uh, we're, we're getting his stuff together right now. He's got a lot, a lot, a lot of hot stuff, and uh, he's repping his ADAs right now. So, right, man, if, if yeah. you're co-signing him, I'll definitely keep my ears to the Word. street, man. Yeah. Word of, all right, now, if they want to go ahead and check out your line, get at you, if they want to go ahead and uh, make an order, this hot-ish that's out right now. Yes, man. yes, ADAs.com, www.eighttyace.com. It will be operational as of the 20th of july so everything's good in the meantime if you want to get a sneak peek if you want to look at it beforehand www.facebook.com forward slash 88 clothing that's simple up, follow man. me check me out you know in my the studio yeah. right here joe baca represent man thanks You're for coming out. through my brother You're looking out C, man this super legendary icon always gonna be down <laughs> thanks brother all right man good looking out